Okay, it's time for that weekly list known as the possibility that, yeah. What do you want? It's kind of like how you didn't want to do the digital download, so you just bought the DVD. When your last paycheck went toward an Amazon gift card. When you give a ragu user a can of Prego. It's kind of like when you think you have mint chocolate chip ice cream, but you're disappointed to find out that it was actually pistachio. It's kind of like when... okay, I got nothing. All right, this week, li this week's list, sorry. This week's list is titled, Five Words Ruined by Music. Now these are words in songs that have came to us in like the last three years. So let's get started. The, oh, little disclaimer. These are not things I'm making up. These are s actual words from songs that now are tarnished of reputation that were ever good. So, Let's see what's at number five. At number five, we have Moped. Yeah, because, you know, you, you just want to take it downtown somewhere. N number four. Sorry. After seeing that video, I don't think he's really sorry. Number three. Sugar. See, your crashing weddings. Didn't uh, Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson kind of teach us all a lesson to not do that? Number two. <whistles> Whistle. I mean, seriously, you got elementary grade kids singing this. And listen to the lyrics, won't you? Where's Wayne Brady when you need him? Don't forget the lyrics. Don't forget to even analyze them. And number one, five words ruined by music, wiggle. Three misunderstood comments taken from everyday scenarios. And number three, do they call it 2K16 because Y2K was taken? Number two, what do the Power Rangers say if they're starving? It's muffin time? And number one, misunderstood comments taken from everyday scenarios. What do you call a smoothie that isn't smooth? A frappe? Four topics Sesame Street will probably cover now that they're on HBO. Alright, and number four. Cursing is bad, kids. Number three. Maybe Elmo doesn't want to be tickled. Number two. Big Bird and Snuffy are at the wrong place at the wrong time. And number one, four topics Sesame Street will now cover now that they're on HBO. Someone who actually knew how to get to Sesame Street. Eight TV show title mashups. All right, no hesitating with this one, let's go. And number eight, That's So Raymond. Number seven, Family Guy Matters. Number six, Girl Meets Boy Meets World. Number five. Stuck in the middle of two and a half men. Number four. The Fresh Prince of Beverly Hills 90210. Number three. Full House of Cards. Number two. Who's the Undercover Boss? And number one. Whatever the heck this list is titled, but I know there's eight of them. How I Met Your Friends. Four life hacks that are so made up they sound real. At number four, Plato can charge an iPhone. Number three, Monster can fuel cars. Number two, Pen sticks and cotton balls make a decent Q tip substitute. And number one, four life hacks that are. So made up, they sound real. A shoelace and snapback piece make a decent dog leash. Six rejected cereal flavors. Let's do this. And number six, habanero bunches of oats. Number five, chocolate fruit loops. Number four, get a life cereal. Number three, Flan Pebbles, 
or flan pebbles or flan 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 phlegm I don't know number two honey barbecue comb and number one six rejected cereal flavors Samsung Jacks five comments that guarantee shunning no hesitating with this one whatsoever. Let's jump right in. At number five, I'm still on season four of The Vampire Diaries. Number four, I'm not a fan of Game of Thrones. Number three, I'd prefer Hulu over Netflix. Number two, what's a Fallout Boy? And number one, five comments that guarantee shunning. I'm glad One Direction is breaking up this year. Six things you shall never say to Cupid. So since there's really no build up to a bunch of phrases, we're just going to do this list Letterman style. Hopefully no one catches on. Alright, at number six, you should go and love yourself. Number five, you don't have to be lonely at FarmersOnly.com. Number four, don't get your diaper in a twist. Number three, why don't you take your arrow and mm, you know the rest. Number two, I was expecting the Easter Bunny. And number one, six things you shall never say to Cupid. Where's the baby? There he is! With five rejected movie sequels. So, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arnold Schwarzenegger came back and he repraises his role as the Terminator. But however, they called the movie Terminator Genesis. I'm not sure if they were talking about Sega, but I'm gonna go take a limb here and say they were talking about the Old Testament. And number five, Terminator Exodus. You know, there are movies from so long ago where Jim Carrey uh, takes over God's role and Steve Carell becomes Noah of Noah's Ark. But what if there was a Dave and Goliath story that they moved to modern day? At number four, Dave Almighty. So these days, a spoof movie won't go to theaters unless, you know, it's produced by Marlon Wayans. However, there was a specific movie that went to theaters called Movie 43. Now, that really just deserved the straight-to-Netflix, straight-to-Redbox, or even straight-to-DVD kind of hype there. But what if at number three you had Movie 44? Alright, so a while back you had a lot of action stars plus Thor and Josh Peck do a movie called Red Dawn. Um, so clearly this wouldn't work. How would you ever pitch number two? Red Afternoon. Alright, and number one, five rejected movie sequels. Mission Simple. Four passages written in a nerd's diary. Since there's really no build-up to journal entries, I'm just going to choose random nerd voices to read the list in. Alright, at number four, World of Warcraft is so Minecraft with better graphics. Number three, my friend told me he, has, he still has a RuneScape account. What a noob. Number two, my alter ego is a dragon who knows Minec Microsoft Excel. And number one, four passages written in a nerd's diary. Obi-Wan Kenobi visited me in my dream last night. Four rejected game shows. Let's see, at number four, The Price is Calculated. Number three, Legends of Being Hit in the Temple. Number two, the Match.com game. And number one, four rejected game shows. Who wants to earn money through PayPal? Six rejected reality shows. No hesitating with this one. And number six, Project Runaway. Number five, Minnow Tank. Number four, The Mediocre Race. Number three, Big Little Brother. Number two, Keeping up with the Trump campaign. And number one, rejected reality shows. 
The Bachelor's Wingman, five rejected car names. Here we go. So, Ford has the Mustang. Everyone knows the Mustang. Everyone's familiar with it. But what if they named a car after another horse and it didn't work out? And number five, the, the Ford Clydesdale. Okay. Now, you know Kia. Everyone has their Kia dealer. I'm not sure if anyone else's Kia dealer is all hype and really good at promotions. But, you know, we have the Kia Soul. Everyone remembers those hamsters, I hope. And, uh, what if you wanted to bring it up a notch, but, you know, it never got greenlit? So, at number four, the Kia Gospel. Okay, now Toyota. A lot of their car names sound like something else, and you can easily reword it. This, one, this is a cheesy entry on the list, but I tell you that number three is the t Toyota Crayola. Okay, you know, Chevy. Chevy named one of their cars after a great place in California for, you know, billionaires to live. Malibu. But what if they went a little more exclusive? And at number two, you had the Chevy Beverly Hills. And number one, five rejected car names. Nissan Altima is something, what could be higher than a, the Nissan Altima? How about the Nissan Ultimate Heavyweight Champion of the World? Okay, and that is your possibility list for you this week.